Welcome back everyone, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Divinity Original Sin 2. Where we left off last time, we are going to go do the fight of the one, or the Salaman, it depends on which one is tougher. I think this one might be the harder of the two, actually. Let's just take a stroll forward and see what we have here. So you can see... There is definitely a creature up there. I can't tell what level he is, though. Who is better sneaking? Neither of my characters are good at sneaking. Excellent. We might just have to walk forward and, uh... An get busted. Massive and imposing, creaks to life as you approach. You must leave. It speaks. How? I am an automaton. I recognize and respond. Do not presume that I have self-awareness. Now you must leave. I make to leave, then turn back until it- not really, I'm staying. You are not divine. You must leave or die. You can not win this fight. We'll see about that. Actually, hang on. Before we go doing this, I just realized we missed one small thing. We are going to be doing this fight. There's no doubt about that. There's a birdie we need to talk to, though. I forgot entirely about this birdie. There it is. The phantom bird pecks at the stone beneath her with a scarred and blood-flecked beak. She glowers up at you with one gimlet eye. Student of the arena. Are you? Or master? I'm the master, the champion of two arenas, Fort Joy and Driftwood. You even beat Murga in Driftwood? That little firecracker was always my favorite. I have an even greater challenge for you. Beyond lies an eternal construct of great destructive force. There, you can prove in trial by combat that you are indeed the one I have waited for. I shake my head. The, there can be only a single one. If you wish to be the one to claim that regal glory, I suggest you hurry up. Alright, fine, I will do that. Also, I should have Fane. Go! Charge! An automaton, massive. You move forward. Can't move too far forward or it'll automatically attack you. you. I got safe here. You. Okay, here we go. So we are the one, or we're gonna be the one. We are really not summoning these things close enough, but that's okay. You want to focus fire the main guy. Well, you can fight his little friends, these eternal protectors. I believe that they all die when he dies. I'm almost certain of it, actually. And... Let's make sure Bane doesn't die. And I guess just walk up to it. It does do lots of damage, there's no doubt about that. Oh, there goes one incarnate. And Los is in the direct path, so that was really terrible planning on my part. In fact, we might just replan this fight a teensy bit because having Losa and the incarnate get destroyed at the same time is really going to be bad for us. You. Okay, we're going to start the fight by jumping in. Because obviously I think that's going to be better for us in the long run. We'll put an incarnate on the side so that hopefully... We don't get smashed around as much. Is 
Okay, this should be a little bit better. We'll deal a few hundred damage to it. Okay, it looks like Fane's gonna be hurt. Apparently you can't dodge burning rays. I guess not. Well, let's jump in with her as well. Hope that's not too close. We can probably take him down, but I want my incarnate out because Fane does go first. Incarnate on that side. We've fought some of these Eternal Protectors before, though. These are the same guys that were in the sword area. Alright, our goal is just to keep Fane alive, mostly for this round, and then we should be able to win next round just with sheer overwhelming uh, attack power. His resistances are down, though, which is sort of bad. Stop laser raying everything! Oh good, yes, shoot that one. I'm actually A-OK -okay with you shooting the Incarnate. Although, you guys need to have less AP. I think Fane's gonna die. Fane did not die, just barely. Fane is dead, for sure. So much AP. Alright, we need to get Fane back up, first of all, like right away. But if we do that, everyone else will die. We need to put Fane somewhere safe. I don't think we're going to be able to win this the way it is right now. We can knock him down at the very least. We can't res Fane this turn, so we're going to have to just... Whirlwind, I guess? Our incarnate died. I think that means we're going to die, too. Hmm. I think it's it. Okay. Let's try this again. We can do this fight. We just got to figure it out. They have so many AP, or so much AP, I should say. You. Okay. The door is locked. We can't get out. I know there's a way to hurt this thing with these reflectors, but I don't remember how that works. Okay, let's try this fight again. I'm actually going to start the fight differently this time. I'm going to start invisible and go around this way. Actually, I'm not. Sorry. I'm going to do one slight different thing. Basically, I want to have full... AP, so we want to keep two AP left this turn. So let's move four, nope, three. We need to move three AP, so we'll move to here. Now Losa's going to take a bit of a beating. Or 
or not, she barely took any damage. Okay, she needs to move three as well to here. And we're gonna do this a slightly different way. We're gonna just let them play out their turns. Okay, we're gonna delay action. And delay action. All of them are not gonna do anything. They're gonna hold position. Now we're gonna do our turn. We should be able to do it pretty easily this time, so... Incarnate. Then we'll use Tentacle Lash, start to strip some of this armor down. Not quite down in terms of armor, but close. Other side of it, let's get it flanked. We just need to do as much damage as possible before the everything else gets their turn and kills us, basically. Because <laughs> there's a lot of firepower. There's a really easy way to do this fight is if you're magical, um, or if you have magical characters. You can basically just meteor swarm this thing and it'll die. Or the ice one, I can't remember what it's called now. Okay, back to our turn again. Two turns to there. Thick of the fight. Bunch of damage. It is standing up again. We're gonna actually just charge in. Knock it down again, it's half-life. It is diseased, is it decaying? I wonder if we could do a ton of damage with this. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, it's got magic armor though, so it's not gonna do a whole lot of damage. I mean, that's gonna hurt. There's no doubt about that. But all we have to do is survive for literally one more creature. Just this Eternal Sentinel, and then we win. Wasn't too bad. Took a little bit of strategy. And everything dies. We get a ton of experience, but not quite enough to level. Just not enough to level. That is kind of a ripoff. We get a Divine Wand, which is pure 100% garbage. We got a Mystical Rune Frame, that's kinda nice. Chain Lightning's okay. Two-handed Axe is not very useful. A Ring might be good, we'll see. The Key to Freedom. Let's go loot some other bodies. Bunch of Phase Capacitors. There's also what appear to be energy chests all around the room. An eternal artifact, we need those. There's also uh, a seating area up here. I think there might be a chest up there, or at least an eternal plate. I can see at least one. Um, but yeah, people would obviously sit up there and watch these fights to see if the combatant would become the one. It's kind of neat. Ooh, plate. Fane looks around in wonder. This, this is my academy. It's where I did my research. Of course, it was a little less destroyed in my day. We'll talk to him later about his stuff. We are going to get his whole life story just in a little bit here. 
I want to get in a level so badly. Can I get up there yet? Nope, not quite close enough. Alright, how about there? Yes, perfect. There's at least a spot we can land. Grab the eternal plate. I'm not sure if these cups are worth anything, but we'll grab them anyways. The eternal bowls are not worth anything, unfortunately. But these plates are super important. We need to keep them all. There's a door up here, but it appears broken. However, there's a giant thunder rune. And I guess people just sit and watch the outcome of these events. Kind of like that. Alright, well... A couple more skeletons to pick up on the way out, then we gotta go talk to the bird. Tell her we defeated the phase creature, eternal creature, whatever it is. And that we are now the one. We have completed the trial of the one, we are the one. We are ready for the divinity trials ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have you completed my challenge? Have you felled the construct? I did. My congratulations on becoming the singular Godwoken to follow the ancient rituals of the arena. You are now the one. The spirit ruffles her feathers and stares deeply into your eyes. You feel a powerful energy flood through you. A powerful energy that stays with you. Happy are those who feast on the fallen. And we get a piece of loot. Kinda terrible loot. Sorry, one sec, I'm just gonna clear my throat. Okay, there we go, that's a bit better. What do we have for loot? $3,600 wand, a $4,700 summoning iron caress. Actually, that is pretty nice. That armor increase is pretty extensive. Lose some constitution and warfare and hydro, though. It's also worth the most, so grab it. We didn't quite gain a level, which is a little bit annoying. We are just the tiniest bit away from a level. There's gotta be something on the island to kill. One little thing. One creature we left alive. Did we kill- oh, we didn't kill that black ring camp. There we go, we can go level up on that. Uh, that's the wrong way. Where am I going? This way, I think? Then up here, and then up here, and then right up to there? That's Ralic's Shrine. That's not quite right. This is it right here. Let's go kill some Black Ring Scum. Get some experience. Gain a level. Level 18, we'll go take on the Salaman. And then we're gonna go fight... The Well of Eternity. Wait, that's the wrong game. Wait, this isn't the right camp. I know it's around here somewhere. Where are you, camp? That's the shrine. Must be up here. This whole island looks all very samey. Except for like... The volcanic part, I guess. Here it is. This is the camp with the ballista. I do like their aesthetic though. The sort of... Goldy brass and the black. Such a nice... Aesthetic. I love gold and black. Based on the aesthetic, the, clearly the black ring have it down. Anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and start this fight out. That did not cause them to go to war with me. Alright, there we go. Now we're in a fight. Let us summon and incarnate. A quartermaster needs to die first. Mostly because he's raped by the blood and we can make a blood incarnate to smack him around a little bit. That was a totem. That was my bad. What kind of totem was it though? Oh, wood totem. I made the worst possible decision. We are definitely not going to get a knockdown. That's all my fault. But he's down to... <clears throat> he's down to 11 hit points. Or 11 armor points. I'm losing my voice, apparently. Oh, we got ruptured tendons. That's okay, we don't need to move this turn. Although I do kind of want to knock down that alchemist, so... 
I'm not going to summon a dumb totem this time by accident. Going to get a drink after this video so I can get my voice back. Just a bit unhappy with me right now. And we're going to go... Make sure it can be knocked down. Gotta knock down at least some of these things. Oh, we knocked down two of them. Good. Ward list is going to be fairly low on armor, but not quite as low as it could be. We almost got infected. Bone cage for a decent amount of armor. Not great, though. I like how the lizards are with the black ring. The house of dreams. My totem. Alright. Let's continue this destruction of this little group over here. We'll deal with the dreamers and stuff later. Is that one. Oh, that's annoying. It can't be knocked down because it had peace of mind. Alright. Changed my mind on that one. Where's my shields up? That'll help us a little bit this next turn. They really want Losa dead. Knock her down. He's drinking a bunch of potions. Physical armor. Invisible. I don't think he's moving though, he just keeps chugging potions. And eating things. Definitely still there. Ow. That was a pretty good hit, actually. Alright, well I too have Whirlwind. Which I apparently missed. On two people. Am I blind? Oh, I'm blind. That'd be why. Um... Oh, we're also muted. We have really everything going wrong for us here. Okay, one of them's dead. We also leveled up, which means we gained all of our hit points back. Kinda nice. We're also gonna do our level up in combat so that we can utilize those new traits and skills. More bartering. We're still getting a talent for once. Opportunist is pretty good. I might take that. percent fire resistance but takes 15% more water. Yeah. Comeback kit's also really nice. 
Lorenzo's bigger and better. I think I'm gonna take Comeback Kid in all honesty. Keeps us alive longer. Alright. There we go. All leveled up. I'm gonna quick save here. We are also silenced. Oh, we're not silenced with Losa, though. We might be able to knock this guy down if we're careful, so we'll just wing him in the face. We don't have enough AP, so we are not going to be able to do that. That sucks. We need peace of mind right away, but Fane is first. So he'll be able to do his- and his Incarnate's there is now, too. Bane is like, oh good, he's frozen. At least he can't hit us now. That's actually kind of nice. This guy's kind of annoying. He is just chock full of life. That's bad. He purged a source point. Just die, Alchemist, please. I'm okay with that. Losa might die. Luckily that comeback kid is going to come into play right now, pretty much. Still silenced because of that silence aura, but whatever. That's why we need to kill Wordless. We did lose our incarnate, though. Oh, for just stop with the knockdowns already. At least I get a double turn now. Okay, where are we at? God damn. No more silence. Start with that. Kill that guy. Fight's a little bit more manageable now. We still have one incarnate left. Hit him and then move up, I guess. Should have maybe killed the alchemist, but that's okay. He has drunk all the potions. It's the dreamer's turn. I like how there's like a mixture of being warm and cold all the time. Alright, we can't summon our new incarnate. But we can summon an explodey boy. We haven't done that for a while. Alright, let's make that dude explode. You're dead. I really want to hit that guy. Wait, can I make this guy? Yeah, okay. We'll put that guy there instead. I want to hit at least two people with this explosion. 
One of them died and one of them is nearly dead. One enemy left alive. Just that black ring fear maiden. What an annoying fight though. I think this video has gone on longer than I expected it to. Stop eating all my source. Please just stop. Also, how many actions do you get a turn? It's like they all have Lone Wolf. No more turns for you. Alright. We're gonna call the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all the things. I'll show you guys what we get. But we'll check the main ones first. So there's a ring. Some other garbage. The Quartermaster will be the other person with a bunch of stuff. Mortal Blow. Meteor Shower. A ring. Bone Scale Armor. Which might be okay. Actually. So those are the main ones. The rest of them will have like little things. Actually this guy's a lot of stuff on him. I honestly didn't expect some random Reaver to have just a ton of things. Does everyone else have stuff like that? He has some skill books and stuff. Alright, we're gonna go through, figure everything out, learn some skills. Yeah, and then now we're into the sort of less good stuff, but still some good books. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time.